Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Off Filter. Um, I, I am your host, BZ, a.k.a. Josh. It's good to see everybody again. Below me, we have April, a.k.a. Amazon, Jamal Amazon 88. To the right of her, we have Uncle Ramblin, a.k.a. Randy. Raise the roof. And then above, and then above Randy, who is filling in for croissant on fire today, is going to be uh, our buddy Hairblitz, a.k.a. Blair. He's uh he he was on episode two I think episode two or one like very early yeah one yeah one, you were in episode one there. yeah uh before the set change and all that fun stuff uh so today's topic is drinking experiences stories uh if you've seen someone else have a re- have a really funny stuff bad whatever we uh we all have stories we want to tell you guys and whatever stories you have. Comment down below so we can read your stories as well. Hey guys, I know the audio on this episode is kind of crappy. Um, I had background music playing for the entire stream. But I do have a background denoise filter on my editing software. But it does kind of reduce the volume of the other other people talking. So I apologize if you can't really hear them in their responses and their stories. But uh, I hope you guys still enjoy the show anyway. The other six episodes are still on Spotify and iHeart. If you guys want to go s- listen to them, yeah. I also have a, um, I have a task as given to me by Chris on Oh, what's I that? Have to give you guys a random fact. Uh, yes, oh, that's okay. right. I've chosen to pick a wholesome gaming fact. Okay, wow. let's go. Instead, uh, I'm ready. Some crazy thing about raccoons and bumbles. That's pretty good. Um, I like that. So, in the original Space Invaders. Um, when it eventually became a staple for um, level design, mm-hmm. uh, it originally started out aliens moved so fast, and the more you killed, the faster they started going. Mm-hmm. That became like a big thing in difficulty. It was actually um, a hardware issue. The more items they had on screen, the harder it was for that program to run. Oh, really? So the speed increase of the aliens is simply just because there's less resources being used and it can run faster. That's cool. I like that fact. And back in the day, you tied a lot of your gameplay to your frame rate instead of doing stuff via Delta time. So, little uh, little programming stuff as well coming through uh, Air's experience too. Thank you, thank you for that. Is that that was actually really nice having a wholesome one. I like that. You're welcome. I like that a lot. <laughs> no offense, Alex. So as of uh, as we record this for YouTube, we are, we're also live on Twitch. I do know um, that male alligators have permanent erections. There it is. <laughs> I got I you. Tried, I tried. I tried. I tried. You did. You, you did. And I'm so happy that you tried, but it's okay. But uh, we're also live on Twitch as well. Um, I, I'm i usually the one that does the hosting. So uh, twitch.tv slash BZ, B-E-Z-I-I-E. So, uh, get, uh, so hit that heart and follow the follow and wait for the next time we do off kilter and any of my other streams. So who wants to start? No takers. I want to hear a couple first, so I can gauge the, the, the level. Okay. So I vote. I vote. Josh goes first, and, and then the host, so. Yeah. Okay. You I, are the host. I am the host. You're right. I'm sorry. I just I just want to see if anybody had a really fun one they wanted to do. Um. So a lot of my drunken stories. I didn't do anything crazy. It's how I got there in the first place. Um. So. On my 21st birthday, we go to our local bar. And, you know, when you go to a bar, you always get the birthday boy drinks, whatever, shots. And that's what happened to me. So, as the night went on, I had a couple of shots. I was still okay. And then, uh, this is the last thing that ever, this is the last thing that they ordered me until we basically said, we can't, they cut me off because they can't give you any more, any more shots, any more drinks. They ordered 10 <laughs> shots, they, they ordered 10 shots for me. So, order 10. Good. Ele- okay, sorry, own. eleven. Yes, to drink on my own. There were there were eight tequila shots and three jack shots. And thank God for those jack shots because they were they were basically my uh, my break when I did them. I got up to shot number seven, eight, and th- seven. You did seven, and you spit it right. And back I, out. I spit it right back out. I spit it right back out, and then the others did the three. Funny enough, though, I was still okay. They cut me off. We still wanted to drink. So I called my father, and he picked us all up. 
we went to go pick up someone else, I think, and came back to my place. We still drank for like another like hour and a half, two hours. Funny enough, did not did not get drunk, did not have a hangover. Jesus, what kind of twenty first birthday party is that? Uh, oh, we tried to get him killed, and it didn't. Work. And it doesn't work. I have uh, I I have both my family's alcohol uh, alcohol like t- um resistance tol- I'm alcohol tol- yeah. I have both resistance. those sides. Resistance tolerance. Says, I have both those sides, so it's hard to get me drunk. But uh, not impossible. No, it's not impossible. And I will t- I can. I do have one that I remember. This was, I think this was like a year or two later, and our buddy Luke decided to make me drinks. Bad idea. So he made a regular drink. He put two portions of alcohol in the drink, and then he takes the spoon. Puts some like puts some whatever alcohol in it, and he sips it to the top of the cup. So what ba- what happens basically is the that piece of alcohol stays on the top of the glass. And I had two or three of those drinks, and before and then that was like before having a bunch of other drinks as well. And I was plastered. I was sitting on my couch looking at the TV screen like I was a zombie. <laughs> it was it was one of those types of tight to killed him. plastic oh i was yeah i just pfft, dead it was i i was aware of everything around me but everything was brighter and i was so relaxed on the couch i didn't want to move it's it's wild but i get I, and i don't like getting that way because i always get the spins i always throw up oh, once yeah. then i go to bed then i wake up at six in the morning get the spins and try to find a comfortable position, go back to bed. Still didn't get a hangover. I do not get hangovers. I haven't had one yet. Out of all the times I've drank. Bullshit. I only ever get hangovers. The only, yeah, the only thing that happens to me is that my stomach gets a little bit upset. That's it. That is it. That's kind of a hangover, though. But I don't get, I don't get headaches. I don't, I don't get the headaches and the migraines. I don't get the, the light sensitivity. I don't get all that stuff. It's just the itty bitty thing of like, like stomach's a little off, but that's it. Nothing too, nothing too big. Yeah, yeah like I've only ever thrown up once from drinking, like mm-hmm. once ever. Oh my god! It usually that's happens to me times. in the morning. Yeah, it's usually in the morning. Oh yeah. A couple times I've done it before bed, but normally it's in the morning. Yeah. Mine was in a car. Oh. 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 Rough. Not, not yours, I hope. No, we like. Perfect. I was. I didn't puke in the car. I was in the car. Mm. They pulled over. I like opened the door. Oh, okay. Threw up on the sidewalk and then we drove away. There you go. Nice, nice. Sure. Actually, that's a great idea. So tell a story about your 21st birthday uh, celebration. Mm-hmm. And then tell a story about the worst place that you threw up if you ever threw up. Oh, worst place. Well, I guess it was the only worst place I ever threw up was. The it's worst place. Josh and I, it's our 19th birthday party, not our 21st. Uh, my 19th was actually different than yours, Randy. Probably. Well, the only reason was because we didn't hang out on my 19th birthday. Well, I'm just saying that's when we can drink. That's why they're oh, saying the 19th. Right, yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay, sorry. Um, I guess the first place I've ever thrown up was at my buddy's place, my buddy Dylan's place, on his floor. And I tried to warn him, and he couldn't understand what I was saying, so I just threw up all over his floor, and I felt so bad. I didn't Fair drink enough. on my 19th birthday. Nice. No? I had, had, I had friends over. I had a Star Wars cookbook, and we made Wookiee cookies. Nice. So they were basically just like gingerbread cookies. Kind of, sort of. They mm. were good, actually. But and then we played Halo. Like, dude, that's awesome. That, was, that, was that actually mine. sounds like a lot of fun. It was. It was super fun. It was mm-hmm. absolutely fun. But weird. I was completely sober. My body brought beer. There you go. I didn't. Drink yeah, I, I can't drink beer. I I tried it. I tried different brands. I can't do it. It's just it's like it. it's a taste that I do not have for it. No. Yeah, beer's gross. I like beer. There you go. Yeah, that, I think. Randy and Alex are the beer drinkers in the group, as well, far as I can tell. Gotcha. Well, not like if they have a beer, they have a beer, but they won't. As far as I know, they don't have to go and buy 
beer, they usually just get like the coolers, the <clears throat> coolers of certain hops and stuff, right? Not beer enthusiasts like you. Some people are like, I'm a snob, and this has yeah, to be the, IPA as the con- yeah, the, the beer, beer connoisseurs. Yeah, the self named yeah. beer connoisseurs. Yeah, like, yeah, micro brewed. Oh no, I, I yeah. stuff. One thing really quick here. Um, Rufus says that he loves your hat and he'd wear it to church. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> wear it to church. He'd wear it to church. Uh, for That's the acceptable. Uh, for the Very. for the people who just have this on for audio reasons. He uh, Hare is wearing a uh, Legends of Zelda hat. So he's yeah. So he's a, he has Legend of on. Link. <laughs> just a Link. Sorry, my phone just went off and I need to turn that down like twice. There he goes. My bad. Well, turn it down, God. Well, I just did. Oh my God, that was a flashlight, ready? Jesus, <laughs> flashing, <laughs> flashing your own camera. I didn't know how bright it was gonna be. I mean, it's yeah. bright enough. You're fla- you're flashing a light onto a lens. I how- can see it. It's in the Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, not really. <laughs> oh, uh, that's just right there. You go. Yeah, you got it. No, I don't see anything. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. That's yeah, it. Actually, yeah. speaking. Stop moving. Speaking of, there coincidentally, is. since we're talking about drinking. Mm. Oh, what, you, what is uh, hair going to grab? Jesus. You can't show alcohol. Yeah, remember it's this is going on YouTube. Infinity Gauntlet bottle opener. It is a bottle oh, opener. That's a cool looking thing. I am jelly. The Infinity, Infinity Gauntlet bottle opener. That's really cool. That's completed, too. So. Mm-hmm. so it's actually really cool. Thank you. All right, yeah. April. Your turn. Put it in like a box. What did, uh, uh, what did you do well, on your 21st my... birthday? Well, it's going to be a lot different than yours, because as Obviously. you guys know, I am married and I do have children. Mm-hmm. I got married young, um, so for my 21st birthday, my husband, who's two years younger than I am, was at home in charge of our daughter, who was two, two and a half. So I went out with my parents, my brother and my sister, because I didn't have any other friends who were old enough to go out drinking with. I was the oldest of the group. Oh. So they took us bar hopping. And I share birthdays with my sister. We're birthday twins. She's a year older than me. So it's her birthday, too. So one, that bitch stole my margarita from Applebee's. And I'm still angry about that. I got one of those big fishbowl ones, and she drank most of it. Oh, anyway. wow. Jesus. And my brother refused to buy me drinks unless I tried a Jack and Coke, which is the day I learned I don't like Jack Daniels. Oh, too bad. I love, I love Jack Daniels. I hate it. I hate oh. it so much. It's my, it's my drink of choice. Oh, love it. Oh. And then he said that if I didn't finish it, that he wouldn't buy me any more rum, which is the night that I learned I had rum. There you go. So, <laughs> rum is good. Love so I got rum. to discover what I did like and what I didn't like. And then we went back to Applebee's for fries because by the time I was getting drunk. And then both my sister and I were actually pretty tipsy. And so we went back to my parents' house for like an hour, hour and a half. And my brother had the bright idea of buying this uh, tequila that he ab- apparently found while he was, uh, I think it was during his first deployment. Uh, he was in the Air Force. Um, he really liked it. It's pickled flavored tequila. Pickle. Sounds really good. That but it's tequila, awful. so it sounds bad. They call it, <laughs> it's called tarantula. I remember this. Tarantula. I it, no, no. tarantula. Wow, what a, no, what a name no. for a tequila they didn't have They didn't have tarantulas in it. It was just called that. Jesus. But he made me take a shot of that, and it was... Actually, I still have the picture. It's actually on my Facebook. <laughs> it's of me sitting on this couch, just covering my mouth and holding an empty shot glass because I didn't want to throw it up. It was so gross. Oh, my God. No. So by the time I got dropped off back at my apartment, kid was asleep in bed, husband was doing something, I don't remember what he was doing, but it, the place was quiet. I don't even remember going to bed. I remember crawling towards the bathroom. Oh. I was crawling. Oh. And I don't remember most of that. I know that my husband had to babysit me that night. Oh. Other than that, that's, that's, that's it. That's I, all I yeah, I've done my share of babysitting drunk people. I get it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, where is the worst place you've ever thrown up? After drinking. Oh. So, when I was 17, I decided that I was sick of my parents ruling with an iron fist. All uh, right. They were actually very, they actually were very strict with me for mm-hmm. no reason. I didn't give them a reason to. But, um, I took off with my friend and told her, I come pick me up. I, I don't want to be here right now. So, we ended up driving to the coast, which was a few hours away. 
and I'm like, I just need some time to myself. And so I went to the ghost with her, got hammered, like super, super hammered, with her dad's approval. Like everyone was smoking pot and crap. I didn't touch pot, oh, but I didn't nice. drink. Yeah, and um, I got so drunk, and we ended up taking a walk along the beach at nighttime, and I had a hard time time trying to walk through the sand. <laughs> Because I was drunk and in the sand. And, and in like, sand. Ooh. So we walked like a good two miles or so away from the house that we were staying at. So she called somebody to come pick us up to take us back to the house. So we got in. We are driving like halfway there. I'm like, nope, because I get car sick really easy too. So I was drunk as well. That didn't make a difference. It wasn't great. But he said that we were almost there. He wasn't going to pull over. So I literally just leaned over outside the window and puked as we were driving, and it trailed all over the side of his car. Oh, no. It's uh, his fault. I told him to pull over, and he didn't. He didn't? Uh, Alan needed well, 20 seconds, man. Pull over. But no how mad was he? Time. I don't remember, and I don't know. Mm. And I don't care. It's his fault. But no <laughs> shit. He should have pulled over. Yeah, absolutely. He should have pulled over. He 100% should have pulled over. That's He's in the wrong here. Yeah, exactly. Uh, That's stupid. All right, Randy. You're 19. What did it look like? My 19th was boring, and I didn't even drink. What you didn't drink? What did you do? I didn't, I didn't drink. I just went to my grandparents and celebrated my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a family party. I get it. Okay. Yeah, I literally did not drink. I didn't really ever go out downtown on my birthday. No, I didn't do that either. I The, the first time I ever went downtown was our buddy's dad's birthday, 19. And I was so... I was so tense... The entire time that I was so ready to just beat up if a beat up a mugger if he ever came near me and tried to mug me. Um, that's fun. Well, yeah, because I'm, no, I'm ready for a fight. That's going to That's what it was. I was. Like I was downtown. I was so stressed. It's I was ready to right fight off. somebody. Um, basically, yeah. I I watched too much TV. I watched a lot of those. Like you go in a dark, you go in a dark alleyway. Some guy's gonna come up, come up to you and try to mug you. That type of thing. That's what Yo, I played Sifu. Let's go. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, Sifu. <laughs> Love that game, by the way. Hard as shit. But uh, anywho, Randy, where was the worst place? Where was the worst place you've ever thrown thrown up after drinking? So, it's kind of iffy if you say consider it drinking. I guess it's mainly because I had one drink, but I also smoked an entire massive cigar. Oh. So, yeah, that'll do it. so I didn't. I don't smoke at all. So I didn't know I wasn't supposed to smoke the entire thing. No, you, you usually <laughs> don't smoke an entire cigar unless you're. So I did the entire thing and probably within like an hour or something. So oh I, God, you wow, you. I was that thing. Uh, Yeah, I was at your house. Oh, was it really that day? Fine. Oh yes. Jesus! So I was fine. We're going to go out and get pizza. I'm like, oh, one second. Went to the wash and threw up a little bit. I'm like, I feel better now. Okay, I'm good, good to go. We're, so we're going. We had to stop at the corner store first. We get there. I'm like, oh, I have to get out of the car for a minute. We're in the middle of the. Of the parking lot, I throw up. Oh my I'm god! Like, okay, I'm good now. Let's open the pizza. So I'm one buying the pizza. I get there, I'm like, here's my credit card. <laughs> I'm outside. I'm throwing it up outside. I don't remember any of this. Did you hide while you threw up? No, I was in the parking lot. Like, oh, I guess no, I, you, I guess I just didn't you guys see. We're all there. Oh, like you drove. Like it was. Me I probably drove. But I don't think I ever saw you throw up though. Maybe in in the yeah. yeah. So then. uh we get back to the house, we're having our pizza, I ate maybe one slice. You went to throw up again? No, I got, after that, I'm like, I have to go home. Like, I'm sorry, I have to go home right now. Uh, I do not feel good. Yeah, And okay. I get home, it wasn't even fun, it was just like... No, oh, that's not, that's not, man. Don't smoke the whole thing. No. So, we do have a question. you're 19. <laughs> yeah. I was uh, pregnant, so I couldn't do anything. Oh. Yeah. So, <laughs> we, do have a, we do have a question in chat, again, we are... Streaming this on Twitch as well. So if you have a uh, comment or a question, we'll throw uh, throw it up there and we'll get to it when we have a break in the conversation. So Alex asks, what's the strongest drink you guys have ever had? Yellow. I know that off the top of my head. Do you? I know that off the top of my head. Uh, Tokyo Tea. All right. So it's basically Long Island iced tea, but take the iced tea out and put in like melon liqueur or something. Oh. It's, it's pure alcohol. There's like... Mm-hmm. Five different parts of alcohol mm-hmm. all mixed into it. It's like tequila, rum, gin, oh, God, melon yeah. liqueur, something else. Yeah. Um, it tastes delicious. I'm sure it does. Absolutely delicious. It's, it's one of the tastiest things I've ever had. 
and it will put you on your ass very quickly. Oh, is it one of, um, is it one of those drinks that it tastes really good, but there's so much alcohol you can't taste every single thing of it? it just tastes like a sh- like a sh- sugary thing or a fruity thing? Yeah, it's it's like tasting a cotton candy drink. Yeah, well. oh, those, those uh, are those are the most dangerous to get. Dangerous. Most dangerous. Yeah. Okay, so that's also the most drunk. I've ever been in my life. I'm going to segue into a junk story. There you go. So, um, in 2013, I was at that year's E3. Um, mm-hmm. nice. and I would love I to go. I tried that at a Bethesda press party. Nice. I don't remember who suggested it because after we started drinking them, I don't remember much of the night. But I remember getting picked up downtown Hollywood. And I remember we walked around downtown Hollywood. Downtown Hollywood after dark is kind of sketchy. It's not. Like the safest thing fun. in the world. Mm. No, uh, I, I remember like walking a block, being like, "No, f- this. Let's get back to the car." I remember suddenly being at the hotel, and I remember going right to bed. Dang. And then I remember being woken up by a phone call at eight in the morning, being like, "Hey, where's your article from from yesterday's stuff?" Oh. And going, well, shit, you knew where I was. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't remember even what I did. Oh, I nice. So, yeah, thank God you had notes. <laughs> Oh no! So speaking of being black, I guess like a blacked out drunk type of scenario. I know I've never had that. I always remember what I did, um, most like ninety nine percent of the time. Randy, how about you? For the most part, I remembered everything. One time I got drunk though. I don't remember leaving a bar, but like parts of the night were vague. Yes, they, yes. <laughs> so, um, it was really funny because it was him, myself, our friend Marcus, and and his uncle. Technically, the they, whatever. Um, we go we go to this bar. We're there for like what three hours, just taking shots, drinking, and all that stuff. We we surprised the waitress to the point where she thought, "Oh, are you guys like like morning or something?" We're like, "No, we're just or celebrating something." He's like, "No." We're just drinking, having fun type of thing. That's all. We surprised the waitress of how much we drank, and none of us threw up or did anything stupid. As if we were okay. Yeah. Well, and then I'm drunk, and I'm babysitting Randy. So this dude decides to go out to the street, and I'm talking to somebody that I haven't seen in a while. So I'm looking here. He's over here to my right outside the door. I thought, okay, he's there. I can go talk. The next time I look, he's gone. The dude is gone. And I'm, and I'm talking to the guy in front of me, like, oh my god, dude, I have to go. My friend's really drunk, and I have to make sure he doesn't walk into traffic. So I get up, out the door, I look left, I look right, he's not there. I I, I call his drunk ass. I said, hey, where the hell are you? I said, I just walked out like two blocks to the right to see how far I could get until you, uh, until you, until you caught me. Like, get your ass over here. And I, and I can start seeing him coming down the street. Like, and I'm, and I'm still yelling at him at the phone. Mm-hmm. And so then I get, I get his ass back inside, back at the table. And then the next, yep. yeah, go ahead. Sorry, sorry Benny, go ahead. I was just, yep, I wanted to see how far I could get. Yeah. I knew what I was doing. I still remember that. I, I was not blocked out at that point. No, you I knew what I was doing. No, but the... You just wanted to see how far you Yeah, like, yeah I called him. Toddler running for your mother. Exactly what it was. He was a, he was a toddler situation. I was the parent that I had to go get the kid. Well, how far I'm do only I go supposed until Josh to drive my bike to the end of the street, <laughs> but I'm going to go a little past the convenience store. Mom will never know. It's fine. He got two yeah. blocks. He got two blocks away before I noticed where the f*** he went. <laughs> It's still pretty good, as oh I was talking God. to somebody. And then, um... Jesus Christ. It was, it was really funny how Randy's memory came with that night. He remembers going into a club, but not coming out of it. And then he re- he forgets an entirely different place we went to after Manchester. Because, yeah, we went to ha- we went to a place called the House of Pong House after. Pong? Yeah. Y- you said you did that. not... You said you did not remember House of Pong. No, like... Playing in there. We weren't there long, though. I know that for sure. No, we weren't there for too long. We because did play a little bit. someone told me we have to pay still, so I go pay the guy for the No, the yeah, that was a whole misunderstanding. someone else is like, he's like, Come up here. we already paid, Randy. I'm like, okay, well, I was told we didn't pay. So <laughs> someone had to get, get my money back from the guy. Like, I was straight up told we didn't pay yet. Yeah, it was, it was, that, oh, that, that was, that was strange. But, uh, so then we, yeah, and then after get after leaving the last bar we went to, we went straight back to the casino hotel that we had for the night. It was a really yeah. fun night. So 
That's we're gonna crazy. Go to, we're gonna go to the part now that Josh somehow left out. I did. What did I miss? We went to a club area, right? Yeah. So, I talked about that club area. Yes, but you didn't. So I'm up oh, there. Oh, the inside. Oh. I'm inside. I'm dancing with some people, and then I find out later Josh was filming me the entire time. I didn't post <laughs> it anywhere because I thought it was funny. You're you're not the guy that would just go up to a random person and start dancing with them. I thought it was great. He straight up films me. Yeah, I thought it was funny. I thought it was great. I didn't post it anywhere. That's not the point. I would have filmed it too. See? Yeah. See? Yeah, no, See? I, I'm I not the only to. one. Sorry. Like, uh, he, like, the, like, Randy, I love you, man, but you're not. Oh, shit. You're not like, that outgoing to go stand next to a woman and just start dancing with her. You're not like that. That's what you did. It was too. I wouldn't do that either. That'd be terrifying. Yeah, exactly. It was great. He storms the trenches. Damn right he did. That man wanted something, he got it. (laughs) (laughs) Amazing. Man, but did Randy ever have the consequences the next morning? Oh, it was. You were. I threw up. (laughs) No, actually, that one wasn't that bad. You were. Because I threw up. I took from the hotel, got home. You did. Crashed on the couch, woke up, and I was 100%. But as we were leaving, I, you were I saying, hey, I need, I need like two bags just, make, just in case. I oh, yeah, no, I, just in case I need a bag. I think, you did throw, I think you did throw up in the car. Oh, I might have a little Yeah, bit. you did throw up in the car on the I way have home. A little bit. He did. I was, and I was okay. I, I've been watching, I'm watching everyone else all hung over and throwing up. In my defense, though, at the one bar alone, we did... Oh, we did a lot. It was like... Well, 12 or 13 shots. It was... Think of it this way. We... Each of us, four of us, we each paid $80 each for all the drinks we did that night. That's a lot. And that one plus, bar. Plus Canadian, plus, so, too. Yeah, it's that's Canadian, like too. Bucks. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's including food and the other drinks we got for ourselves that weren't shots. But thank God for me, because I was the one that ordered food that night and had something on the table for people to just snack on. Like something like fatty and deep fried. Yep. Mozzarella sticks. Damn, damn straight it was. It was, it was like, it was mozzarella sticks. It's exactly what it was, huh? Hot sticks. Exactly what it was. Some perfect drinking food. Right? Nachos. Nachos. Right? Oh, nachos. Nachos are my go to. Nachos are a good one, too. Chicken. Oh, yeah. Steak. Onion rings and fries. Are oh. you rings, fries? Yes. Poutine. Burger. Poutine, poutine, burger. So my go, my poutine. go-to drunk food is a burger place on our main stretch of uh, downtown bars. It is just called Prime Burger. Yep. It's oh the yeah. It's greasiest thing ever. Yep. It is the most delicious thing ever, drunk or not drunk. True. He's not wrong. It's a very good place. Very nice. And place. they're cheap ish. Ish. I'll, I'll really emphasize the ish. Uh, ish. Emphasize the ish. Um. There's a. Another another like, another popular spot on that stretch as well is uh, I think called the Shawarma Palace or something like that. I'm not a huge fan of it, but a lot of people recommend it if you go downtown. If you go to a bar or you're at home or you're at the liquor store, what's your go-to? What's your go-to drink or uh, cooler? Sailor Jerry's. Pardon? Sailor Jerry's. I I've never heard of Sailor Jerry's. I'd show you the. Oh, oh right, can't. yeah. So uh, just if you don't, oh, yeah. know, I was gonna show, show you mine too. Yeah, yeah. don't, yeah, don't yeah. show the bottle. We're putting this on YouTube. You don't like alcohol and bottles. Yeah. But uh, if oh, you're wait, well. if you're interested to know what these are, look them up on Google. I guess. But it's I know really strong rum. Is it dark, is it a dark rum or a spice rum? Yes, dark. It's a dark rum. Mm-hmm. Well, technically, it's, it's spice rum. Oh, it's a dark spice rum. It's both. Well, it's spiced. And it's not white, so I guess it's oh. dark. But then it's not like cracking dark. It's oh, 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 dark. okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. Um, like it's dark. It's just not labeled as dark. Yeah. You can see it's dark. I, <laughs> I, I tried cracking. It's way too sweet and thick and too thick for me. It's disgusting. It's awful. I hate it. I, hate it too. I don't mind it. The bottle. I, I like the bottle. The bottle's cool. The bottle's like, cool. I like rum as well, but I like the Appleton Estate. That's good too. My that's my grandfather's choice of rum is the Appleton Estate. Yeah, my grandpa likes that. That's, that's a man of pictures. culture. Now, yeah, that wasn't that wasn't a hit on him at all, Randy. What? I'm making it one though. Why? What about, I'm lonely. What about? 
Because he's because he's lonely. Why? What? <laughs> that came oh, out of left field. Jesus. Oh no! All right, Randy. Let me ask you this: then. What do you what do you go to when you're in the liquor store? It depends. I like my white claws, my uh, Mirnoff, my uh, Mike's hard lemonade. It's not my heart. No, Mike hard uh, blue freezies, peach mm-hmm. fuzz. Mm-hmm. So you're making fun of me for like right? grandpa and, and he, you like bitch bro. He, that's like yeah. that's like the college frat party starter pack. He's like, exactly. He is, no. he is the base. I like myself some uh, standard vodka, I guess, or like rum. He is uh, yeah. Crown Royal. He is the basic white bitch, but it goes when he goes to the, to the liquor store. Apparently, well, I'm not like a huge like hardcore. It's like drinker, the chat right? of drinks. The chat. So of like, drinks. I like my summer drinks. Ah, the summer drinks. Like I'm like not hard one. Apple ale. Yeah, I'm not one oh, to like so just sit and just like drink my like oh I got my rum and coke here. My I'm gonna take some shots now. I'd rather just like take a sip outside, which is fine. Doing whatever, which is fine. I get Apparently that. Not. Or standard beer. I feel so judged right now. Yeah, why are you being judged right now? Who's rum and coke and taking shots is exactly what I do like I... every night. Oh, <laughs> all right for your streams. Yeah, for a strange yeah. yeah. Man, you should really be careful yeah. with those and how many you do. Oh, I have a limit on mine. Oh, thank God. Okay. Good. 100. Yeah. Good. If I ever... No, I think it's up for like four or five. If I ever have that on my, on my I stream, I would be dead. They would try I to kill me. I'm a lot bigger than you are, Randy. It's okay. I can handle it. <laughs> yeah, I have plenty of insulation. Oh, April, thank you so much for saying that. It's true. He's skinny. I guess he is. Oh. Yes, yes, he is. Hefty, hefty, hefty. You are so skinny. You're like, what, 150 pounds? Sure. Oh, is it too I, much? I, I think, are you no, I think, it's, I think it's less than that. Because you're so skinny. Okay, I'm 200 pounds, so I can drink a decent amount without getting, like, dead. All right. I'm getting like dead, not dead. So you Like dead. Going. Okay. But I, I think, but I think the coolest alcohol bottle I've ever had was Crystal Head... I think it's from Chris Head of Crystal Skull Vodka. If you haven't seen this bottle yet, this one I recommend looking up. It looks cool as shit. I got Is it... the I, one you are telling me about? Yes. Yeah, it's uh, the one that my buddy Dylan got me on my 20th. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Was, I still haven't found that. It's really fucking cool. Oh. It's probably one of my favorite bottles, honestly, to look at. He's a... Somewhat polarizing question for mm, alcohol. Of course. Wine, yay or nay? Nay. Yay. Depends on oh, the I wine. Think wine. Sorry, it's true too. Maybe wine would be my go to. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, I see Randy drink a lot more wine than anything else. Wine's really good. I'm not a huge fan of wine. Like, if anything, it would have to be like red and really sweet. I like a slightly dry red. Yeah, I'm not. I don't like red wine. No, I'm not a huge fan of wine. I, I the wouldn't. The only wine I've ever drank was Moscato. It's the only one I've had that I actually like. It's very uh, fruity and very sweet. Mm. I don't know. It's just I. I'm not. I guess I'm not. Not a huge fan of the taste. I like my wine. I have a bottle right here, but I can't show you. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Thank you, Randy. We can't show the boat. You can't. It's going you on can't YouTube. show. It. Yes, it's going on YouTube. Uh, long shot is recommended. Okay. Just blur it out constantly. Yeah, really. Just, 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 just the whole screen blurred. Because it, because like, oh, Josh, I do that. Like, Josh would have to blur it out. Don't. Don't make him do that Don't. extra work. He already has to bleep out all the f**ks and everything else. We've I'm listening yeah, to Harris. I do. Harris yeah, says yes, right? Don't do that. He has to bleep out our stupid ass shitty squares. Squares. Yeah. So I so remember when we had that, squares? that that f**k talk, and he had to like blur out like the you 20 didn't. times I said f**k. That was so funny. Oh, all right. <laughs> I mean, I give a, I'd be giving Josh a really good moment to blur it out. Like, uh, you know what? Don't. <laughs> It's okay. He could be creative. Yeah, it doesn't mean I want to be. It doesn't mean I want to sit there for three hours trying to be creative. No, Josh, I have a, I have a great solution for you. And what's that? You just blur out his entire square. That's that's time. what I said earlier. I have to blur out his wow. entire square. Just, just you could, you could do like thing. a bottle strip teeth. Hold the paper up for your bottle and just kind of like show it. God. Like, just the shape through my shirt. Yeah. Oh my god, that's no. <laughs> no. That's a full body line. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so uh, for the people who like, so Heron, uh, Randy, you guys are like wine. 
How are you guys on champagne? Yeah, or nay? Oh, yes, please. So you both oh. are also a fan of champagne? Give me champagne. Don't give me that not alcoholic champagne, though, because oh. that's actually that's gross. apple juice. I don't want it. The sparkling. No, it's, it's worse than apple juice. It was disgusting. One day for New Year's, I bought a bottle of non-alcoholic champagne for work to have to do a, like a little tears whatever for the New Year. Mm-hmm. Disgusting. We drank it. We're like this was horrible. Oh, that sucks. Mistakes were made. Oh, I'm sure they but were. Sounds like it. Next time I'm buying actual alcohol because this is gross. Uh, my mother likes uh, the Swimati Bambino. I think it's that's some sort of some sort of champagne, right? That one's I have legit. No idea. I maybe. I, I honestly don't remember. My mom loves that shit, though. If she could, she would probably, like, buy the biggest bottle uh, that she could. And just It's like her Frank's hot sauce. It, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Huh? Put that on everything. Oh. <laughs> oh, got it. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Uh, got it. Carry got on. It. Carry on. <laughs> Move on. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Womp. Womp. Oh, Lord. Uh, okay. Nope, I lost my train of thought. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Harry, don't forget, the lips don't work when I have uh, off-kilter on. And, and I can't refund you those. The Stein alerts. You use them, you lose them. That's all you get. No. Oh, no. Don't make me do this. Uh, <laughs> it's it's like you could see my screen because my mouse was over top of it. Okay, no, okay, okay. All right. Well, Randy already did it. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm now I'm deciding if I want to cut all this from the YouTube or not. Literally, you don't want to. literally. <laughs> <laughs> I think I killed hair a little bit. I can't I can't tell. Uh, I, I I keep trying to look at OBS. But I always swing over to my Discord because I like to like my big screen because I like to see it on there. But it's all fuck and it just doesn't work. But uh, no. We'll just do that one more time. Little, 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 little. So stupid. <laughs> he does it so good, but you can hear the disappointment in it. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> continue. <laughs> Being weird. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. Just watch them. <coughs> no. Alright. I'm not going to redeem I'm not going to let that happen at all. Um oh my god, what the hell are we gonna do with you, Randy? Randy? What are we gonna do with you, Randy? I am just doing nothing wrong. You're doing everything wrong. I mean, technically he is using the tools. I know he is he has available to him. Stop! Yeah. Just pause them. Pause the redemption. Pause yeah. Them. I, I might... Refund pause. Yeah, I might have to... Oh. Lame. <laughs> Lame. Little, 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 little. I really like Lame. doing the... Pa- I really like doing the package store when I don't mind it. I guess just not doing off-kilter. I, I'm trying to... I'm still trying to figure out how much of this I want to keep. Yeah, figure it out in post. I will figure it out in post. I usually do. Stop. Little, little. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was my impression. <laughs> okay. You mi- hey, April, you missed yeah. right- You missed Randy's impression of Patrick Star. Oh, come on. Do it again, do Randy. It. I nailed it. No, you missed it. Do it again, Randy. No, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. You lose. You lose. <laughs> you snooze, you lose. You do it again. Damn. With the big, with the do big, fuck you. Wow. Do it. Little, do little, it. little, little, little. <laughs> 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 so, it sounds like SpongeBob imitating Patrick though for some reason. It's like a it, little bit. It's yeah. an imitation of an imitation. Uh, Not bad. <laughs> Dude, that's how good I am. Oh, oh, cut Turner. Sounds like a Pokemon. Like oh. Pokemon that says Little Little. Maybe it's uh. called Weedle. <laughs> weedle Weedle Weedle. <laughs> <laughs> weedle Weedle Weedle. That's that's ridiculous. I know uh, you like it. You can't unhear it. I don't like. I I hate you so much right now, man. I really oh, do. We know. Uh, <laughs> look what I started. I hope I hope your chats, hair and April, uh, that are really enjoying this. Because Turner said that his his little little 
gets him moist with excitement. Hairs or mine? Um, I'm not sure. I was gone when he said that. So oh, I'm it's hair. probably yours. Probably, 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 probably mine. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It makes me moist too. Oh God, that's so that's so creepy. That's <laughs> so creepy. Why? Is it creepy, Josh? This is the original Lidl. Oh, the original. Well, my Lidl. Oh, okay. My Lidl. Or does he actually mean Patrick Starr's Lidl, Lidl, Lidl? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, yeah. I'll be the yeah. I'll be the next voice actor for Patrick Starr in his own show. Yeah. Why uh, isn't there a Patrick Starr show yet? There is a Patrick Starr. There literally is, is a Patrick Starr show. On oh. yeah, on Nickelodeon, one hundred percent. There is. Apparently, he has some sort of adopted-looking little sister. I guess I don't know. It's oh yeah, I remember hearing about that. Patrick, no, no, Patrick, no. Why? <laughs> what? The rumor has it that she works at the uh, right yes. Goofy Goober. <laughs> Goofy Goober. Did you guys see that conspiracy theory? No, no, I did not see. Yeah, so like the Goofy theory. Goober is like a cult. You know what? Then, I can like, kind of see that. For aliens, and like so much so that his sister works there and doesn't even recognize him. Okay. There's an entire thing about it. Like, it is crazy. If you look deeper into something, you'll either, you'll eventually trick your own mind to think that you do see something. There's no shortage of cartoon, like, conspiracy theories. Right? I, I yeah, it's an alien death cult. Alien death cult. Yep. Oh my god. Oh, I remember. So, I remember seeing like these, like, uh, like I think it's like a showy, like a show entertainment type of thing. But like the uh, citizens of Bikini Bottom and what they do and uh, how they and how they are there after a certain situation, stuff like that. It's kind of funny. I don't know what the channel's name was. I just found it on YouTube. I'm not YouTube. Just found it on. Uh, Facebook. <laughs> no. I have not done... No. I have, uh... So, Hand decides to put a question oh. in my, no. uh... Put a question in my chat. Have you I ever... Move it back to the topic, but I didn't want to just, like, cut you off. No, that's okay. No, there. that's fine. Have you ever sneaked... Have you ever sneaked anyone into a bar underage? No. Nope. I don't know anybody that much younger than me. Other than I, other than my brother, I did something in a gray area once. The fu- great, okay. So when we were when we were in LA, another night we got into it was um what was it? Who were we there for? Women in Gaming International, okay. I think was who invited us to that party. It was at some like theater, and they had like taken all the seats out, so it was mm-hmm. like this crazy. It was it was actually nuts. But uh, my buddy Connor, um was 19 at the time. So we could drink where we lived. But he couldn't drink in Hollywood. Well, we, he couldn't drink in the States. Got it. So we tried to get him in. And I pulled the whole, like, hey, these guys are with me kind of thing. Because I had, I had press access and mm-hmm. I was able to bring guests. So they checked my ID and everything, but didn't bother checking the people I brought with me. Ooh. It was like, oh, he's the press. It's fine, right? Yeah. And I was like, F- yes. Damn, dude. <laughs> we're, we're Damn, dude. We spent like or... half an hour getting there, and we did not want to go back sober. So no, obviously not. Yeah, so we got in. We got really drunk. We danced. It was fun. Awesome. But, awesome. Uh, really it nice. was the one time I got to flex press muscles. Yeah. That's awesome, dude. So for the people that don't know, I was a journalist for a number of years before I became a programmer. I'm so, I'm so envious. I'm so jealous of you that you went to that you went to an E3. Be envious, but also it was really stressful. Oh, I'm like, sure it was. Yeah, you had to, you not had... only did I, I did fun shit, but I also had to write five articles before eight in the morning. So yeah, you were working, and I and yeah. I missed one of those deadlines, which means I had to get up, hungover, and pop out five articles in an hour. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it that's... was also it was also fucking brutal at the same time. Oh man, no, you got like but... you work hard, but you play harder. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh fucking... yeah. Yeah. Our egg, our, yeah. our, our egg got card. Our egg got card, guys. No, uh, our <laughs> rental car got egged. Really? Uh, my one egg of the card. nights too. My egg yeah, got we card. Were, we were so fucking mad because <laughs> if you don't know, if egg dries, it tends to chip car paint. I did not and, know that. Oh, that's a fact. Yeah. yeah. 
getting your car egged is actually really risky Ooh, to yeah, your no pay kidding. job. No kidding. So we took it to a specialty place and we got it That's cleaned good. up, thankfully, and there was no damage. It just cost us more money, mm. but less money than we would have had to pay the car rental company, so it wasn't too bad. Was it a – oh, was it, was it a company car? Oh, no, it was a rental no. car you said. So. No, we rented it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm trying to think if I want to tell the story or not. It's not about me. It's our buddy Ray, and it's been told by Randy and Alex to me multiple times. I still love the, I still love the story. Um, Randy, do you want to, you want to tell it? So that he's, he's free of obligations from telling it? Well, no, it's, it's nothing bad or anything. <laughs> it's, 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 it was, ahead, no, it's not, it's not the fact that it's anything bad or anything. It's just he doesn't, he doesn't drink a lot. And I wasn't there when he was drunk. And, I mean, that bad. Yeah, that's not that bad. He was, he was drinking and so he started handing out drinks to other people, random people. Like, and he's, he's like, like, here, have a beer, have a beer. Like the nicest guy in the world, but it intensifies when he drinks. And I was so sad that I wasn't there that year to see him drunk. And I have so and, Canadian. Like, it is. Yeah, oh, hey, 100%. How was beer, Gary? Like, didn't yeah, happy passing, Saturday? Started passing yeah. out beers. Like, didn't he also? Um, didn't he also like buy the entire bar a drink? At no. one point, no, they didn't get that no. far. No, he was just passing out beers to a few people, then he had to stop them. We're like, hey, yeah, right, let's no go. shit, you're done. No shit. I, uh... Was... Buy me one, and then you're done. <laughs> it's just a, another small little thing. I think it was the same night, um, Mark, our buddy Marcus was was putting a hot pocket in the microwave in the hotel room, and, uh, he walked away, he, Ray heard the microwave beep, took the hot pocket out of the microwave, and, and, and started to eat it. And I think Marcus was like, hey, what the f*** are you doing? That's my hot pocket! And I think, I don't know what Ray's, Ray's response was, but I think it was more like, you it's mine now and ate the rest of it the last one too the last one <laughs> it's my hot pocket no kitty it's my pot pocket <laughs> no kitty eat my pot pie no it was it was it was they told me this they told me this and it was it was so funny that's really funny it's uh it's our, it's our good buddy mr ray he's in our streams a lot uh hyping us up our mo- a great moderator too so uh, he, but he's up in Lebanon right now for the rest of the month, and we're we can't wait for him to come back. We mi- we miss we miss him dearly. Sure we do. So <laughs> much. <laughs> miss him so. Yeah, he's he's up in Lebanon with his family for the month. So he he probably be, you know, I think he'll be back either the last day of March or like the first day of April. Randy's got crack. <laughs> okay, in retrospect. What I mean by that is he has the peanut butter filled pretzel bites. And to me, uh, these are this is my personal crack. I they're, love they're these. Meh. I love these things. If I have one, I could easily polish off the half a half a thing before uh, I stop. They're not Does that anybody great. Else dry. From a distance in the camera, I think they look like little mini chicken wings. Like a little bit. Like I can that. see what you mean. Well, like back here. Like they look like chicken wings. They do look. Yes, I do. I do see what you mean, but I promise you, they yeah, are store bought box. Yeah, piece, I, I wish they're it's PC President's uh, pretzel peanut butter film box or something like that. PC makes really good stuff. They do. That's they actually really do. Their peanut butter cups are like one of my favorite. Oh, there you go. Reese's is better. Oh. I actually disagree right now. Really? If you'd have asked me that question like six years ago, I'd been like, yeah. But they taste too like milky now. I don't know. Oh, not enough peanut butter, too much chocolate? The chocolate is just really milky. Ah. Represent Texas, milk huh? chocolate. Yeah, it's my uh, Texas hot jelly beans I was given. Oh, nice. Yeah. There you go. People in Texas. Your, your family? Yeah. Well, not really family. But oh, family. right. You're, you're the close, yeah, the close friends. Yeah. Kind of thing. Um, I wish Alex was here because he has a couple of stories as well. That are really are kind of funny, and I just want I won't I won't say any of the bad ones, but I will say the one Hair's that dying. affected me. Yeah, hair is dying. You <laughs> okay there? I like, don't. That guy. Yeah, don't believe the as much like I'm glad he's not here. <laughs> so <laughs> this was this was me twenty bucks, whatever. Fuck yeah, like, yeah. Hope you get hit by a car. Fuck so I was celebrating. God damn it, Randy. I was celebrating my 19th birthday with our, with Alex and our buddy Natash. They were at my place, and 
this was like like a day before. This was August 18th. And um, then we were having fun, drinking, whatever. And I got like a Mickey. I just had a Mickey of rum. And, a, and we had like a Mickey of, uh, like a Mickey of like Crown Royal or something. I forget. And I noticed that I even had, I only had like two drinks in so far. I'm So I'm going back to the rum, making myself another drink. I realize, I realize that it's gone. So I'm like in Captain Jack Sparrow. Who drank my rum? I'm looking at the two. Why is the rum gone? Why is the rum gone? <laughs> Literally, I said, why is the rum gone? I look over at Alex. He's done. <laughs> the man is done. And I'm like, what did you do? She said, I mixed the two alcohols together. I'm like, oh, no, you didn't. Oh, uh, no. So, he's, so this 18-year-old, this 18-year-old, two, like, probably at least four or five drinks, mixing the rum and the, I think, and another whiskey into this cup oh. and drinks it. And oh. he's just, he's gone. He oh, goes man. to the bathroom and he pukes in the toilet and he sat there for like maybe 30 minutes just drunk out of his mind. It was very funny and very unfortunate for the man to start his to start his drinking career like that. Yeah. Oh god. Josh a drink and he was done after one drink. We had to call his dad to pick him up. It, okay, hold on a minute. No, hold on. I will tell you what was in this drink, though. This was, I believe, we were celebrating Randy's birthday. I think. Sickly, everything but the kitchen sink. Yeah, oh, like, this dude put... Oh, it's one of those <laughs> drinks, yeah. 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 And he filled it to about, like, almost the lip of the cup. And I thought, I can, ha- I can, I can handle one cup. I can do that. So, I drank it, whatever. He gives me another one. It too. He gives me another one. My dumbass thought, oh... Oh, I can I can do this, and I'm drunk at this point, so I do this. Done. I get up, I think I go to the bathroom, I come back, I come back to the table, and my head down. My head is down, and I'm He's just breathing into a water bottle. Yeah, I was just sitting there, almost <laughs> comatose. It was really bad. Oh, geez. It was for like, hey, hey, Josh's dad, can you come pick him up? Like. Yeah. You're not okay. No, I was not okay. So, oh my God. about 15 minutes later, I'm still sitting. I, I, I still, I'm still sitting in that position this entire time. I'm aware of what's happening around me. My eyes are closed, and I'm breathing through this water bottle. I wake up, and I'm looking around. And I'm like, "Hey, you okay?" I'm like, "Not really, no." <laughs> I, it's just the lights. I was, I'm plastered at that point. That's my plastered moment. And uh, I puke on the way home into a bag, and then I felt, and then I felt okay after throwing up. Which is yeah, we told us that to bring a bag too. Just yes, to yes, and he did. Yes, he did. Bring a bag. Yeah, and bag. you know what? I got, uh, and I threw up in that bag. Yep. At least you had saved, bag. saved your life. You're the one that caused it. So. <laughs> I could stab you and heal you. What are you gonna help be happier for? Me stabbing you or me healing you? I healed you. I saved your life. I think me just heal sta- a stab wound, you wizard. I think I think me just stabbing you back would make you feel better. Um. Oh, yeah, hey, me. Healing. The TikTok trend. The TikTok trend of everyone just yeah. breaking tendons and stuff. <laughs> hey, Randy. What? Tell the story of why you, you don't, don't do drink that? tequila anymore. Oh, I just can't drink tequila anymore. I used to love it, drink too much of it. Now I can't. Oh, there, you told me there, there, I can't even do the smell. There was no special story to it. You just drank too much. There tequila really was. I drank too much. I was out with my buddies at Brews and Cues. We went through about <laughs> two pitchers of beer, a few shots, of, a lot of shots of tequila, some shots of rum, a rum and coke, uh, some Jaegers, and oh, yeah, got Jaeger. home, had some more gin. Oh, yeah. That, Oh no, it was bad. It yeah. Was bad. Yeah. And then after since that day, can't even do the smell of uh, tequila. Can't even do tequila mix and anything. Oh. Tequila sunrise, not happening. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. I used to love it. There was uh the only time I ever drink tequila, well, recently I had to use it for uh, shot redemption, but I hate it. The only time I would drink it willingly is when we go to a strip club. It's the only time. And it's patrol. <laughs> nice. Hey, perfect. So, what about the strip club makes tequila acceptable? 
is it just um, the present It helps or... me get a little more friendly, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but it's specifically tequila, though, for Sir Claus. Why don't you just drink your rum? Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know, because my husband doesn't like rum. He likes Patron. What so else can you just... grab a piece of lemon from? <laughs> uh, what? What? So, uh, I gotta say, when Randy mentioned Jaeger, I hate Jaeger. I, when I tried it, it's awful. I hate I like it. It's black licorice. It's black That's licorice good. booze. It's the I worst hate it. flavor on the world. Oh, it's God. Candy. Black licorice. It's, it's black the Jaeger bomb. It's okay. Yeah. Jaeger bombs are good. The Jaeger itself is. Too I've good. never had a vodka or a Jaeger bomb before. I've never. Jaeger bombs are good. No, they will just... really f you up. It's just better, better than uh, vodka bombs. Mm. Well, I don't, I've never had a vodka bomb. Um, yeah, so that's my, I guess that's my really, I, that's the one I hate the most. What about, um, what about you, Hair? What's your, what's your alcohol you hate going to? You hate going to drink at? I can word that a lot better. I'm not going to. Um, I don't really know. you don't like? Beer, Maybe. I guess, really. Beer. Just, like, like straight up won't touch it? I just don't like it. Mm. It's just not fun. I get it. Uh, um, no, it can be fun if you drink enough. You, it's, it's not, it's not great. I would, I would, if I, if I had a choice between Jaeger and beer, I would take the beer over the Jaeger. Oh, well, probably. Straight Jaeger, yeah. Yeah, that's how, that's how much I would not drink the Jaeger again. I hate it. Well, uh, we know Randy's is tequila. He won't ever touch that shit again. April, do you have what? other, is it, do you have anything other than tequila that you really hate? Or is it really just tequila as well? Uh, gin. Oh, you won't, do, oh, gin. I, I tried. Yep. Gin's I, another one. I hate tonic. I hate tonic. I can't do it. But gin, especially, I was trying to be a grown up and I ordered a martini once. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't a vodka martini, it was a gin martini. Martinis are different, though. <sighs> I would say try gin, not in a martini. All I know is it was disgusting. And yeah. I've tried gin and tonic as well, but it's mixed with something I don't like, also, is tonic. I don't I don't like it. It's disgusting. Mm -hmm. um, that seltzer taste is just what? But uh, I don't know. Just gin just tastes really gross to me. I don't think it matters what I would put in it. You could do like flavor it. tonic too. I'm guessing. I don't know. I, I think so. Yeah, I, mean, I I'm sure actually you can put flavor in anything. I just don't like gin. No, I, I, <laughs> I get tried it. it. I haven't tried it in years. Randy, do you still have that absinthe bottle you got those years ago? I do. Haven't opened it yet. I haven't opened it yet. Nope. You, uh, cause, cause it's just, a lot of work for me to be the no, only one drinking it. True. And, like I want someone else to drink it with. But we did say we would. We just did could not get a chance to meet to meet together and just try it. With I would yeah that's the thing we couldn't find a date to do it. So like I don't know how long he was he was thinking about it, but he wanted to go to the liquor store one day, and I think we were grabbing some more booze for like the party or something like that. I don't remember. And he's like, I want to try absent. We 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 were shocked because we've never he's never told us this before. So he just so he just said, I'm gonna go get some uh, some absinthe. All right, and he's learning about how to drink the absinthe because absinthe yeah. is the most proofed oh, in the world, and you have to you have to dilute it before you drink it. Have to be should. So like yeah. yes, I was given a spoon. I had a spoon, it's and they're like, yeah, yeah, melt sugar on the spoon, mm -hmm. yeah. and then you slowly drip some water over top into the. I'm like, oh, this is complicated. It's 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 it like it's like basically it's, it's like process. basically making coffee into an absinthe bottle and diluting it. Coffee into an. Sounds like he's doing oh. drugs. <laughs> Pretty much, doing math. <laughs> yeah, it doing math. sounds like he's trying to. I was trying to make it more family relatable, but if you guys want to say meth, tar heroin. Yep. Yeah. Isn't this family <laughs> relatable? <laughs> he has food. Get up in there. That's fine. But uh, yeah, so yeah, so he's uh, he's getting this he's getting this lesson about how to dilute the absinthe. The guy selling it to me, he's an enthusiast into absinthe. He so is, he yes. has like multiple spoons in life. It, it's a special spoon too. It's not a normal spoon. It's like a oh. like, it's like a wooden spoon. Yeah, I no. think. No, it's oh, not wood it because it, it what? I were to play a wooden spoon on fire. Yeah. Oh, great. But it wasn't yeah, metal, it though. Has like, has like, yes, it was. It has like holes in the bottom of it, though. Oh, it was a slotted stone. Oh. Yeah, for like the stuff to fall through. And oh, okay. Kind of neat. Yeah, it had, yeah, it had, it had, the bottle had its own spoon. It was actually kind of funny. It sounds like something or like I would want to do if someone else was doing it. That, that's, if that's we were at like some like, alcoholic bed and breakfast or some shit. 
and they just have like a fancy like, oh look, this is how blah blah blah. I'm like, okay, thanks. I don't e- I don't even know if bars will do absinthe, do they? Uh, it's a lot of work. If you have the fancy ones with like the bartenders in like suits and those cups, and yeah, sure. Yeah, we yeah. can't we can't do absinthe here. I'm pretty sure it's illegal. Is that just illegal in the states? I think so. Oh, uh, I've certain... never I've never seen it in any liquor store. It might be there. There were certain ones that were went back when they were actually using like cocaine and drugs in it. Mm-hmm. Opium was a big thing with it. Yeah, so now it's not as bad because I don't think they have that in there. Mm. Just like Coca Cola. strong. Yeah, so it used to be Bring a that back. Yeah, really. Can we please? Say it how housewives really No, that, Randy, we man. do not want that back in our Coca Cola bottles. Yeah, we do. No, I we do. don't. <laughs> <laughs> Same uh, great taste, extra effects. Extra effects. Now you can cook dinner and raise children and be sparkling happy when your husband comes home from work. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Okay. Can imagine yeah. the, the apron and the, the little house skirt. Gotta What's try it once. Dresses? No. Just like some like, old Tommy Fawn comes across the screen and just okay. <laughs> exactly. Don't forget Thank your girdle. You. Oh Back to commercials. I'm not an advertiser, but like. What they really need to do is have some kind of commercial that is way back in the day again and mm-hmm. make it more relevant for a product. So, like, their whole thing can be one of those cheesy commercials, but, like, make it more modern, but still be cheesy. Ah, uh, I see. Where it's, like, those kids running around and the monster comes out. Like, make it something <laughs> cheesy like that for, like, go and stuff. Look, do you, not, like, do you not remember the, um, oh, my God, I can't, I can't, the Yop commercial. Yes. You don't exactly. know the Yop so commercial? Not stupid like that. We need more commercials like that nowadays. It would be a more house hippos. What's a Yop commercial? Yeah. Oh, that's right. So in uh, in Canada, there was this commercial basically about like the drinkable yogurt, and all it, they made a song for it, and they made their mouth super big. So whenever they would sing it, their mouth would go like like twice the size up their face. It was, it's very funny. You can still find it. It's it's called the literally. Do you Yop know what the song is? I don't want to you say. Remember the jingle? Yeah, of course I remember the jingle. I'm Canadian. Can you? Uh, I don't want to. I don't. Can you though? I could. Sing it, Josh. I don't, I, I don't want to. I don't want to Just sing will it. Will you? Will I? You're gonna do it. You do it. No, I'm not gonna do it. Chat okay. wants okay. you to do it. I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. I'm sorry. Please. Give us your best. Come on, Josh. Uh, I don't even know. I don't know if I'm gonna get copyrighted for it or not. No, you won't. You're singing it. As long as you're the one singing and performing, you're fine. Yeah, no. Copyright uh, stuff doesn't cover covers. Mm. That's or why parodies. you can do, like, karaoke and parodies stuff. And covers. Uh, yeah. As long as you are not yeah. playing their actual music, you're fine. Yeah. So you should sing it. I don't want to, I don't want to though. I think you should sing it. I, I'm blanking now because of all the pressure. Oh, oh whatever. my god. <laughs> of course I remember. Of course I do. I'm Canadian. I do. Sing it then. Oh, I don't remember it now. Sing it, sing it. Stop sing pressuring it. me. It's a lot of pressure. Drink it. Peer pressure, peer pressure, peer pressure. Come on. I love, I love the hands. Take, take your pick, Josh. Either sing it or do coke. Where am I going to get coke? I, I can hook you up. <laughs> Why can you hook me up? I know people. Don't question me. He, he knows people. Apparently he knows people. I don't get it, but he knows people. <laughs> right? Fine. Disclaimer, he does not know people. He's just saying this just to be funny. Disclaimer, I'm not. Disclaimer, you are. Now shut the f*** up. He's not funny. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my. I'll ask for it. Hey, Josh, thing. (laughs) Josh, I sent you the link to it. Oh, did you really? No, you didn't. Uh, Great, then you can listen to it real quick. Refresh your memory. Oh, God help me. And Josh can sing too. It's you all he can sing. It's and I'm I I have an okay it. voice. It's not the greatest in the world. Yep, yeah, there it is. Well, he didn't lie to you. I no. guess. Give me a minute. <laughs> while I figure this out. We're gonna be in for a treat. The worst part about it too is it's like really reggae. It's reggae. It's almost reggae. Like it's got like a Rastafarian accent almost to it. Oh, it's amazing! Yeah. I'm so excited now. I want the accent too, best. He's now dying in silence. 
It's like headphones. <laughs> Josh's forehead looks really white. <laughs> uh, well, honestly, we we're all pretty white. It's true, too. Like, just right pale. Here, here. Look at how washed out that is. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it look at look that. Bad in my... oh, we, no, like, looks... if we were in Asia, it would looks... be like 10 out of 10. But, like... I can't roll up my sleeve. It looks better on my actual stream camera, but it actually looks worse because it's my actual skin tone and it's just so. I like the light makes pale. it look pale. horrible. Like, yeah. I'm glowing, like. Yeah, you do glow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we all glow. Just, I guess, yeah. All right. Hey, let it rip. All right, Beyblade. <laughs> Those are coming back, by the way. It's stupid. Um. I'm I'm sorry, I'm so I'm so nervous. Don't be nervous, just do it. Okay. I want to live in life still I sleep. I really don't know what no time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> keep going. She wanted to do the accent, so I tried to guess. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Please continue. Oh. Whoa. Give so me up. Give me mama soon. Yup. Give me mama. Give me. I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh. That sounds so dumb. Give oh. me up. Give me mama soon. Yup. Give me mama. Give me up. Me mama. Give me body. Come. Give me up. Me mama. Yup. Me mama. Oh, go read it, Martin. Martin comes. Stupid. <laughs> stupid. From beginning to end, that's so stupid. It sounds dumb. Oh In my, my own ears. God. I tried to do the accent, and I killed her. <laughs> oh, God. I had, the, I had the guttural sound and everything, I just couldn't hold it. <laughs> All I see, the core of my eye... It's just hair going down to his arm, laughing his ass off. Oh my I god. lost it. You <coughs> don't want no toast. <laughs> I don't think he doesn't want no toast. Toast. Oh, to toast. <coughs> that was a nice I'm dying and Randy clipped it. I clipped the first part. Yeah. I I'm clipped the second one now. Oh, motherfucker. Uh, you know what? I think <laughs> that's where we're going to stop for YouTube today. Seriously? I think so, yeah. We've been going for a while. Uh, I think we're past the hour mark, so I think we're going to end it here. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. I'm trying to get... I'm trying to, I'm trying to, oh, I'm trying hell, to stop laughing. God, that was funny. <laughs> Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to get back into the outro. Okay. Oh, have you not heard the Shia LaBeouf song? Oh, Shia LaBeouf. Nope. Oh no. Shia LaBeouf. We'll 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 discuss Shia LaBeouf after doing the outro and after we stop YouTube. All right. Sorry. I, no, you're, you're you're fine. It was funny, but I just couldn't do it. Um, I'm going to have to go find that clip and share it everywhere. Uh, you can find it in the chat, if Rainy put it in there. Um, I'm doing the full one right now, actually. Okay. YouTube, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed what you just heard here with the off Kilter podcast, um, you can hit the subscribe, like the video, and hit that bell if you guys want updates on shorts, more off Kilter podcasts, and stuff like that. And there is a special announcement I put on Twitter for the off Kilter podcast. You can now find the Off Kilter podcast, podcast on Spotify and iHeartRadio. So if you... iHeartRadio. Yeah. So you can find... So if you type in Off Kilter, uh, find the orange background, like how Off Kilter is, find Millennial Gamers, and we are on Spotify and iHeartRadio. I am trying to get it on Google Podcast, but Google has not put it up yet. I don't know why. I guess they just take a while for them to... They're, you're mocking me again. Why are you mocking me? You're very handsy. You I am very handsy. handsy. It's helped me, helped me concentrate. But uh, thank you guys so much. It doesn't help us all. It helps me. So sorry. I don't know what Brady's doing. He's, what, what is it? Fishing line? Yeah, I thought so. 
But uh, thank you guys so much. Again, subscribe, click that bell, click, uh, like the video, and we will see you guys in two weeks. We do this. We, we do the podcast every two weeks. Bye, YouTube. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, YouTube. Ciao.